Good day, learners! Welcome to our day one. Reading and interpreting data in a pictograph. Picture count game. Analyze the chart. Which fruit has the most pictures? Which has the list? What does each picture mean? Great! What you see is called a pictograph. It uses pictures or symbols to show information. Each picture can represent one or more items depending on the scale. Example 1 without a scale. Favorite color of grade 2 learners. Red has 3 stars. Blue has 2. And green has 4. So green is the most liked color. Example number two, with scale. Favorite pet of free two learners. Each boss is equals to two learners. Cat has three paws. Three times two is equals to six learners. Dog has two paws. 2 times 2 is equals to 4 learners. Fish has 4 paws. 4 times 2 is equals to 8 learners. So, fish is the most liked pet. Why use a pictograph? It makes information easy to read and compare. It helps us see which has more or less. It's fun to look at because of the pictures. The favorite ice cream flavor. Teacher Anna asked her class about their favorite ice cream flavors. She made a pictograph to show the results. Favorite ice cream flavors of the class. What information does the pictograph show? How many pupils like chocolate? How many like vanilla? Which flavor is most liked? Which flavor is the least liked? A pictograph uses pictures or symbols to show information. Each picture may represent one or more items. Let's try this. Look at the pictograph and answer the following questions. Favorite toys of the class. Welcome to our day two, solving problems involving a pictograph with scale. Count by pictures. Number of pets of the class. Each pose is equal to two pets. How many dogs are there?
How many cats? How many pets in all? Each picture here stands for two pets, not one. This is called a pictograph with scale. We use it to show bigger numbers easily. What is a pictograph with scale? A pictograph shows data using pictures or symbols. When each picture stands for more than one, we call it a scale. Favorite fruit of breed two pupils. Each apple is equal to two pupils. Flavor, apple. We have three pictograph. Three times two is equal to six pupils. Banana. We have two apples. Two times two is equal to four pupils. Mango. We have four pictograph. Four times two is equal to eight pupils. Which fruit do most pupils like? Which is the least liked? Another example. Favorite sports of grade 2 pupils. Favorite sports of grade 2 pupils. One ball is equal to five players. Basketball. We have three balls. 3 times 5 is equal to 15 pupils. Volleyball. We have 2 balls. 2 times 5 is equal to 10 pupils. Soccer. We have 4 balls. 4 times 5 is equal to 20 pupils. How many pupils like basketball? Which sport do most pupils like? How many more pupils like soccer than volleyball? A pictograph with scale uses pictures to show numbers, where each picture represents more than one item. We can solve problems by multiplying the number of pictures by the scale. Let's try this. Look at the pictograph and answer the questions. Number of the flowers in the garden. Welcome to our day three. Determining the number of objects in a group by repeated addition. Group and count. Can you make three groups with four candies in each? How many candies are there in all? Let's count them. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12. When we add the same number again and again, that's called repeated addition. What is repeated addition? Repeated addition means adding the same number again and again to find the total. Examples Three groups of five apples. 
5 plus 5 plus 5 is equals to 15. There are four baskets, and each basket has three mangoes. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equals to 12. There are three boxes, each with six pencils. 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equals to 18. Repeated addition means adding the same number again and again. It helps us find the total number of items in equal groups quickly and easily. Let's try this. Read and solve. Welcome to our day four. Creating equal groups using language such as five groups of three and five threes. Group it right. Let's count the apples. Can you put these apples into five groups? How many apples will be in each group if they are equal? We made five equal groups of three apples in each. We can also say five groups of three or five threes. What are equal groups? Equal groups mean each group has the same number of objects. Examples, there are four plates. Each plate has two cupcakes. We can say four groups of two or four twos. This means two plus two plus two plus two is equals to eight. There are three baskets with five mangoes in each. We can say three groups of five or three fives. Five plus five plus five is equals to fifteen. Equal groups have the same number of objects in each group. Repeated addition helps us find the total in equal groups. Let's try this. Draw the objects in equal groups. Let's try this. Read each and fill in the blanks. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.